Hello everybody, welcome to Free to Play Infinity Wars, where I, Zombie Skittles, show you decks that I've built using just cards f that you unlock from the campaign. Today we are using a deck I've called Breedy because I am unimaginative. This deck uses Caretaker of the Young, One of Many, and Wealthy Nobles Commanders. Wealthy Noble is there for the turn one extra resource, so on turn two we already have three resources to use. Caretaker of the Young is there because for the cost of one, an exhausting Caretaker of the Young and another Beast character I have on the battlefield, I can create another 4-4 Beast character. So you've got like the ability to spawn more creatures. I then have one of many because on turn two, I can bring him out to and start breeding him on turn three. In the deck itself, I have 13 more one of many's because unlimited character and it's an 8-9 for three. Can't really go wrong. My phone just went off. That is disappointing. Let's just mute that. I then... Sorry about that. I then have two more Caretaker of the Young in case the one in the command zone dies. And then I have two more Wealthy Nobles just to get even more mana going. Apart from those, I run one Jungle Giant. He's an 818 that can block flyers. So he's a, he's a Warpath only Defense Golem who also deals damage, which I find pretty cool, though he is a bit later game. I then I have two woolly mammoths, or just normal mammoths apparently, I can't read. They have unstoppable. They're a 10-10 unstoppable. Unstoppable means if he uh, goes into combat with another creature and he is the survivor, he then goes back into combat. So he actually gets to hit and hit and hit until he either hits a fortress or he dies, which is actually really cool if you can beef him up. To beef up, the card I actually have is Pack Leader. I run three of them. When he's in any combat area, all my other beasts on the battlefield get plus three, plus three. If I manage to get all three of them out, which is very unlikely, but if I do, then my mammoths become 1919 unstoppables, which is amazing. I then also run two Killaroos. They're just 4 9 haste creatures who I can pay one resource and they'll be able to block a flyer. So they're good surprise defense. And those are all the creatures, apparently. I'm having a look and it's like, yeah, done that. Next up, our abilities. Oh, I did forget one. Brings life by passing. This is a Warpath specific resource boosting character. Has four health, no power, sits in the support zone, gives us an extra resource. So that in conjunction with the wealthy nobles can give you a lot of resources. So abilities, we've got one special one. This is a location. It's called Breeding Grounds. It works exactly like Caretaker of the Young. I pick two beast characters and they'll breed. Bet It's kind of better than Caretaker of the Young because it actually gives you a 6-6 six, six instead of just a 4-4. Four, four. But yeah. Then we have, we run the two Assassinates and the two Firebolts for our removal. Warpath specific removal, we have a card we have a card called Fight. I run three of them and they allow me to select one of my creatures and one of their creatures and before actual combat occurs, those two fight and results happen. So I can use that to knock out one of their creatures. You can also use it to activate abilities that might happen when that creature goes into combat, but I don't have any of those. The other removal I have is Hunt. I choose a character, at the end of the next turn that character dies and the opponent is not allowed to know who I targeted. So that's some good removal, it works in any zone, it's fantastic. My last ability card is Tribal Medicine. I run three of them and they just heal a character for 10 damage. It's perfect when you've got your Mammoth, your Mammoth has done a few hits, he's taken a lot of damage. That extra 10 health gets him going again for next turn. Anyway, that's the entire deck. In a second, we'll take it through and see what we can do with it. Alright, here we go. We're testing Breedy against a Warpath. No, sorry, not a Warpath deck. That's my deck. Against Dragon's Varor. Now, this is actually... I'm not sure what to make of this start. We, we're going to get out five one of many's. I've never had a hand like this with this deck, so I don't know what to expect. I think first thing we're going to do... So we're going to kill that Death Worship. Oh, do I kill him or do I kill his Death? Death Worshipper. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm having a beer as I do this because I'm awesome that way. Alright, Beast Burden, okay. 
I know this piece of burden actually has less attack than one of many you'd expect. I guess because he's leashed while the other one's wild. In other worlds, there would be noble creatures on Raish. They exist only to serve as brutal labor. I love the lore in this game. Alright, we have four mana, so we're going to start breeding. Our caretaker of the young is going to have sex with our one of many to produce a 4-4 offspring. This deck could work in his favor, because obviously he runs on for all worth death worshippers, which means he counts on them getting super beefed up. So we're going to do that, and we're going to swing for eight. We've gotten out a mammoth, so next turn we'll be able to swing with mammoth for mammothy glory. I think next turn as well, we'll have six mana. Next turn, we should swing, we should fight, and make one of our creatures kill his deode. I think that's our best bet. Once he finishes his turn. I'm wondering what he's doing, whether he's thinking about removal or... Nope. Okay. Defending. Okay. Ping him for the right amount. Beautiful. Everything's working out. Even got a pack leader. Okay, so we're going to do some of this. We're going to fight. I'm going to select our newly brought out guy. And he's going to fight that. He's not a legal thing. On the battlefield. Okay, fight officially is the worst card ever. So instead we are going to bring him there. Do a trade there. Um, hmm... No, we don't need to trade. We can just do a little bit of it. I said a little bit. Of I'm fighting, aren't I? Fight a little bit of this. A little bit of that. And then we've got one more to breed. And we're going to do that. That's our turn. What's he done? All characters get plus three. All characters get more than that. That's unfortunate. Okay. That's cool. Okay, we've got seven mana. So, I want to make best use of my mana so I can get the most out of my breeding. So, we'll do that. We'll swing with some more guys. Pull him back, because... Pull two of them back. you got to be suspicious, because Varor has an awful lot of removal for my liking. So, because, like, you've got this chap. A letter can deal six damage to the target creature. And that would, in turn, power these women up and that's the last thing I need so Zen killer if that is your real name I wonder what you're doing come on come on I would love for you to finish your turn there we go who's he who's he sw who's he trying to blast Lingbardo's will kill my mammoth Killed my mammoth. Alright. Easy. Uh, okay. Eight mana. We're going to bring out another mammoth. One of them. We're going to breed. Do that. That. And that. And while we're at it, some of that. Take it. Alright. So, my only choice right now is to swing hard and hope he doesn't have... Something that, like, what's it called? Mass death. Mass death would ruin me. Though not completely. I've made sure to withhold some of my creatures just in case, because you never know. So. Hmm. I'm in a position where if he tries and defends with anything, I'm going to kill it. So what we might do is we're just going to swap these two around. Like so. Yep, call it. I didn't want this guy to die immediately. So, they trade. This will be interesting. They trade. Weakens. Weakens. Kills it. No, didn't kill it. Bullshit. Bullshit. So, let's take a look at this. Let's do that. That. Do a little breeding. Uh, bring out another 4-4 four, four just cause. Now we've got 3 mana left. We've already bre we've already done the breedage. Let's bring out... Uh, no, we won't bother with more mana. We don't need more mana. And end turn. 
So Zen Killer's currently got the advantage. Let's let's be strategic about this. Mammoth will die if we do that. So let's do this and put Mammoth there and that there. So what will happen is those two will die killing that Varor Death Worshipper. But then Mammoth will should in turn at least bludgeon anyone else to death and then I hit their fortress. Or what have they done? What are they playing at? They're strengthening their creatures. Okay. I did manage to get some some strong hit in there. Now is when shit gets real. Okay. Let's see what happens if I swing with... Oh, no. I know what they're doing. We're going to do some of this. And put a defender in. You watch this. You watch this. I bet you I've called it. Bam. That. And my turn. Now you watch. I reckon what they're doing... Is they're going to play Winds of War. Winds of War, you actually have to pull your creatures out of the battlefield before you cast it. And it does 5 damage to everything in the battlefield. Like, so in the assault and defense zones on both sides. So by pulling all my creatures back, he plays Winds of War, it'll only hit one of my creatures. That's the plan. We'll see if it happens. Nope, he's actually gone for the defense, so I'm actually... Ha ha! I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Alright. And now we can fight. So let's see what happens. We know what he's brought out. Let's just bring out everything, because I'm like that. 11. 11, 4, and that'll die. And then a 7, 7. 11, 12 will survive against that Death Worshipper. We'll put the mount there. Now, actually, I don't need to worry about that. I can make this one and this one fight for the lulls. And that would cancel that out. We will pull uh, 177 back for the pure purpose of breeding. And we will then draw a card. It's a heal! Yes! Heal my woolly mammoth. It is not woolly, I know, but I don't care. Now what's he doing? Oh no, only one creature without flying may attack each turn. Does not bode well for me. I think we're still going to ping for 11, but no good. Dead beefs. So yeah, we're, we're only going to slowly chisel at him because of this freaking artifact crap. So, let's pull half of our stuff back. Do, do that. Um, and just set up, start setting up defenders. That's all we can really do. Alright, let's see what happens. Um, let's not forget to draw a card. You should always use your mana, I reckon. Sweet, so we're actually going to beef him up. The fact that that Death Worshipper is a 1220 is actually kind of unnerving, but... He's not even doing anything. We're going to ping him for another 13. This is fine. This is so fine. So fine, baby. Alright, now I'm going to pull that back. And that back. Play that. Breed that with that. Just stick another defender out just in case. Watch what happens. He's going to bring out his Death Worshipper thinking he can take out my Woolly Mammoth. Or just my normal Mammoth. Thus powering it up more. Won't happen, baby. Won't happen. Alright. I'm, I'm really, like, thinking desperately. I've got 16 damage left. Provided I can trick him out of defending, I should be able to hit for that 16. I just wish I had a flyer in this deck. Okay, that didn't go exactly to plan. Your opponent loses 8 morale. Oh, snap. That's painful. Okay. Now. Bam. Wham. Ma'am. What I need is I need a fight. How many cards have I got? 21. Have, have I used two fights? 
One fight, two fight. They're all in the deck. Oh, I could win this with a fight. So instead, we'll do some of that. Some of that. I need to hold off his... Death Worshipper. So we're going to pay five to draw a card. It's a breeding ground. So that's actually perfect for our needs. Oh, no. What am I doing? My mammoth's got unstoppable. Provided he doesn't kill my mammoth. He killed a pack leader. That's unfortunate. I'm still going to hit him for 13. Okay. We can absolutely do this. Pack leader, that breed, and we need to defend. Whew. No pressure. I think this is going to be the, a really close game. I think he's going to. He might even kill me by morale. He just needs to keep. Set, oh. He just needs to keep defending long enough that I run out of creatures. And that can absolutely happen in this current situation. Okay. Or he, he just got to throw that worshipper down. Though, and then those two he could use. Oh, you know what he's going to do? You watch this. Um. Shit. Oh no, I can't do that. My mammoth will die. <laughs> I am in a rock and a rock. Winds of war. Jesus Christ. Yep, there it is. And then Winds of War will actually knock out all my creatures. He hits me for 54. That was well played. Very well played. Alright. Well, that's the deck as you saw. I almost won. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next episode where we try a whole new deck. Spoiler, it uses Warpath again. I'll see you in that episode.